Hey guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here to do just a really quick video to show you guys this new baby that was just put together today. And this is the Braylin sculpt by Ann Timmerman, I think. And um, yeah, so she's really sweet. She's got a really pleasant um, expression on her face, just a little sweet smile. And she's got some very pretty brown eyes and brown hair. Uh, she has a little bit of a mixture of kind of a darker brown hair and a baby brown hair, um, just to give it a little bit of a natural look so you can see how her hair looks. And yeah, so she's really cute. She's going home uh, as a Christmas baby, so um, I was able to purchase her some Christmassy outfits. Actually, before I got sick, I purchased her clothes, so thankfully, because now, they have all the stores closed and you can only buy like things for curbside pickup or whatever so you can't actually go into the store and look for stuff. I'm not sure actually if Carter's is open or not because they did say that baby clothes are considered essential so it's possible I can still go into Carter's. I just haven't looked there yet but um, I'm not sure. It might just be curbside or they might have even closed it and uh, I, I really don't know. I haven't gone there. In a few weeks so <laughs> but I was lucky enough to be able to purchase her outfit so she can go home soon and uh, she's all together and ready to go I just need to finish up her photo shoot and I'll get her boxed up so she can start her journey home and make it in home for time for Christmas she's still got quite a bit of time to make it for Christmas but um and she's staying in the country so there'd be no customs or anything for her to delay her process her progress <laughs> you just never know with customs they can be they take their time there's nothing you can do about it um sometimes it's like they clear customs in a matter of seconds and other times they sit there for days and days and days and there's no rhyme or reason to it so especially right now with um everything you know being super busy for the mail and everything with between covid and christmas and everyone is online shopping a lot more this year than ever before so um it's it's a lot of mail going through which has slowed down everything so but i have absolute faith that this baby will be home in time for christmas so anyhow guys i hope that you will be having a great day and a happy thanksgiving to all of my american friends um we here in canada we had our thanksgiving in october but I believe that every day should be a, a day of Thanksgiving uh, because when we live in that mindset of being having a grateful and thankful heart, we are just a happier people. Um, my kids used to watch this little show called Veggie Tales, and to this day I still remember one of the songs that says a thankful heart is a happy heart and that is there's just so much truth to that little song that when we have a thankful heart in all things. We just have a happier and lighter um, heart as well. So cultivate that, not just today on your Thanksgiving day, but every day. Be thankful. And I know my family, we sure have a lot to be thankful for this year. We survived COVID. Yes, we did. <laughs> God is good. Um, I'm out of isolation. My husband is out of isolation. And two of my kids just cleared isolation today, so they're free to go. Um, back to school, but I said I'm going to keep them home until after the weekend just as an extra precaution But they can leave the house. They can go for a walk outside. They can you know go For us with a drive or something like that. We still have One more still in isolation till Saturday um, But honestly, I think he's fine. The only reason he's his isolation is a couple days longer is because he had no symptoms whatsoever and so they had no date to really base when his you know symptoms st would have started because he had none so they had to base his on the date of his test and so yeah so he'll be clear to go anywhere on saturday and then our last girl is who tested negative and has never had any symptoms will now have to quarantine for 14 days <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. She's the one who didn't get sick, but she's the one who has to stay cooped up the longest um, But that's just the nature of how it goes because she could potentially Develop symptoms at any time, but you know between the next 14 days 
because it can take up to 14 days for symptoms to develop. I think she's gonna be fine because if she was gonna get sick, she would have got sick already. That's my thinking, but that's how it goes. So honestly, I have a suspicion she was probably our silent carrier or a silent spreader. Mom, what did you want me so. to Sorry about that, guys. I don't even remember what I was saying. But anyways, um, yeah, we're all doing great. Everybody is recovered and nobody has any more symptoms. So it's just a matter of, you know, fulfilling the time that the public health nurses have said that we need to, you know, isolate and be quarantined and et cetera, et cetera. And then we're good to go. Um, but so we definitely have a lot to be thankful for so much because I know that any one of us could have had a completely different outcome and yet all of us did very well. So I'm very thankful to God for, for his mercy on us in that because, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we survived. So anyways, guys, I am just grateful and I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy Thanksgiving and hope you like seeing this little one. This is a kit that I had actually never even seen before. So sometimes that's part of the fun of doing customs is you get to experience kits that would have never even been on your radar um, you know, that maybe you wouldn't have ever bought because you just hadn't noticed it or whatever. Um, so you get to see a few different kits out there. So this kit is very cute and, uh, I hope her, her mommy really likes her. So anyways, guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>